Hey everyone. Um, so another little installation in the how-to series. This is very going to be very short and simple, but I, I don't think I've ever, actually ever really even addressed it in the video, which I've done um, in the past. I can't speak today. Um, but it's going to be brows. It's 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 simple, but I feel like when I have private clients who come to me for lessons, this is always something that stumps them. So I'm just going to show you the way that I do it, and uh, you can modify it to your liking. And to use powder, I know a lot of makeup artists like to do pencils. I don't. I don't know why. I've always done powder, and it's just it's just kind of what I'm used to. Powder being that it's basically an eyeshadow. You know, it's sometimes it's a little less pigmented. The companies make them a little less pigmented, but I, you know, Mac and Nars, those colors that we're kind of used to, Bali and um, from Mac Omega. Um, those are shadows, and we're just using them on our brows. So for today, I'm going to do what I've been doing, which is this um, Anastasia or Anastasia, however you say it, little brow duo. Oops, can you see it? There you go. This color is brunette slash dark brown, and then the little brush that kind of goes with it. You buy it separately, but it's got one side that's got an angle and one side that's got this little comb. So I have very thick, unruly brows. I, they have to be trimmed. I mean, they get curly. It's, it's a mess. So I always, always, always start with this brush or I start with um, a mess, a clear brow gel brush. And what I do is I brush them straight up. These are straight up and my brows are pretty clean right now, but you know, sometimes you have to trim that hair right there. So I brush them straight up and then out here, I brush them out at an angle. And then on the top, I do this sort of sweeping motion just to kind of get just the top layer to all go in the right direction and it kind of combs just that very top layer down. So on this side I brush them straight up and then just on the top kind of very in a very clean line I brush them. So you can do this with clear brow gel, the brush, but I'm just doing it with what's on here right now because the clear brow gel is wet and so then when you go to put a powder on top of clear brow gel it can make the powder kind of thick. In some instances that actually works because it gives you a stronger brow but if you want them to be softer you want to use you want to just do a dry brush. So now you've got these two colors. A lot of times brow duos come with two colors and people don't necessarily know what to do with each of those two colors. You can just kind of double dip your brush into both sides one two one two and then put it on but for the sake of today, let's just, I'll show you how to do both colors. So I think of it like an ocean. Like if you were in a, if you were in a, this is going to sound strange, but if you were in an airplane looking down on a coastline, the water closest to the shore would be like a, a lighter color. And then the, the further out into the shore you get, further out from the shore you get, it's a deeper color. So the deeper color you want to kind of go in the middle of the brow and on the outer, on the shore, so to speak, you would do the lighter color. That's how I think of it. So therefore, it makes the brow like a little more three-dimensional. I mean, this is really nitpicky, but that's what this tutorial is about. So the other thing I do is I, I tend to start on the outer corner. As you get older, um, your brows start to get shorter and shorter. And so one of the first things you need to do is kind of elongate the brow and figure out where you're going. If you start in the inner corner and then you just work your way out, you sometimes end up with two different angled. So I'm going to dip my brush into the darker one, like that, and I'm going to start out here first. Now my brows are pretty well extended, but I always like to extend them just like, you know, a quarter of an eighth of an inch. So I do little sweeping motions like that, and I get kind of like a nice clean point. Then I work my way backwards. I come back like this. And then right here, kind of like, just make that point a little bit more so it's kind of like a V, like an upside down V, but not really, because you don't really want an upside down V. So now I've got this outer third kind of in place. Now I'm going to go back to the beginning of the brow. So I'm going to dip in again. And here, I, the, before I was using the brow brush on its thinnest side. Now I'm going to use the brow brush on its thickest side, and I'm actually going to push the color in and up the same way, the same direction that the hairs are moving. 
And out here, sometimes I even get more exaggerated and brush them straight up and down, just like that. So now I've done the end and I've done the beginning. And now we have a, now it's like you know where you're gonna end up. So I can kind of sweep through the whole thing now. Just like that. Then, just to end it, I'm gonna tip my brush in the lighter color and I'm gonna work it on the edges, the shoreline, so to speak, in my silly analogy. That's, that's the finished brow. So you can kind of see the before and the after. And now I'm gonna just quickly do my other one kind of in real time so you can see it. Just extending it so I have that kind of nice point. And now I'm gonna come back to the beginning and brush those guys up. So I'm brushing the color into the hairs in their natural direction. And now I can kind of work my way. Now on this brow, of course everyone, no one has a symmetrical face. I have this kind of, I constantly have this gap, so I need to just sort of gently fill it in. And I'm doing little strokes, you know, I'm, I'm brushing it in in little strokes, I'm not drawing on my brows. Certainly there's a time and a place for that in a look, but if we're just talking about, you know, everyday brows. And now I've just dipped it into the lighter, the lighter color. I'm going of along the edges and there you go so that's just a really quick brow tutorial there's a million ways to do it but I actually realized I never really go over that when I do the videos and um, I kind of just like swipe them on very quickly and uh, I don't really have the kind of brows that can like change my face some people who've got very light brows or very fine hair they have more leeway with that so I'm just kind of working with what I have but hopefully that helped and I will, uh, I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks. Bye.